Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're discussing a little something, something that we had gone over in the Fox Parks video, but this is the broader spectrum of this. And don't worry, the other testing's coming out soon on the other pals, but today I wanted to specifically go through this because I've been testing a bunch of stuff and trying to make sure what works and what doesn't work as far as this in particular stuff is implemented. I'm gonna bring up the chart. This credit to Pocket Pair for them putting this out. This is a while ago though. But nonetheless, most people know what this chart is. This is the elements of damage to weakness chart. We discovered that when you wrap a pal in Ivy Clinch, which is initialized through a grass power, that it in fact does double the damage if you use fire against it, regardless of the pal type. Through my own testing, I've figured out that the electric to water also does the same thing with doubling the damage. So with the grass in particular power, if you do that to Frost Stallion, it quadruples the damage. So it two times it, then it two times it again. And we'll demonstrate that as, as our base to show what's supposed to be happening with these other things that aren't either working properly or they're just not implemented or they just don't work that way. But I wanted to have this as a reference first to kind of show what is supposed to be done and how it's supposed to work. So what we're gonna do first is we are going to show you the original setup from the other day. So we have Frost Stallion here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna show with Ragnahawk because Ragnahawk's partner skill can be ridden as a fly in a mount applies fire damage to the player's attacks while mounted. So it works with this, so it should work with other pals that apply damage as well. I have a regular AR. So the first bit of damage, doing about 10. When we jump on them, now we're doing 19, 20 on the lower. When we cover in seed mine, which then wraps her, now we're doing 40. So it doubles like each go around. I just wanted to kind of show that first and we'll show it again. Doing 10. Now we're doing 20, 22. Now we hit her with seed mine, which then wraps her in that Ivy. And now we're doing 40. 43, 38, somewhere around there before this Ragnarok dies. <laughs> and also to show this Ragnarok again, it does not have anything special done to it. It's not like I'm, I have my Vanguard ones, but they're just to uh, initialize a little bit more damage. It has nothing to do with the elemental types that are going on with the Vanguard or the Godfin player damage. It's just showing basically that the damage is what it is and then it's doubled once it's the element that it's going against and then it's doubled again when it is in fact the secondary element that it goes against. So since fire is strong against ice and grass, it pulls double duty. And we will show this with another pal as to not give away the other stuff because it was pretty cool what I did the other day. Nonetheless, all right, so we have Beacon here. Beacon can be ridden, applies electric damage when the player attacks while mounted. So we have an aqua gun on here because in the chart, it shows that electric is damaging to water. So if you get something wet, it damages it two times if it is an electric damage. But we'll use aqua gun and wait for him to get wet. It may take a couple of shots. See, now he's wet. Now he's being hit for like 80, 90, something like that, right? And we'll wait for the wetness to wear off. I'll jump off a beacon here. But you can see there we're doing about 30, 39. And when we're on beacon, we're doing about 40, 49. So again, this works as intended. This beacon is very weak. And now I'm wet. Ooh, pause. So these both work as implement or as intended. Or I actually do not know if this is an intentional feature in the game because of the other stuff of how it works. Now, in theory, if we look at the chart again, if you catch something on fire, then it should be susceptible to water attacks. If you freeze something, it should be susceptible to fire. If you put an electrical shock on it, it should be a susceptible 
susceptible to ground, but these don't work. Also, dark damage being susceptible to dragon. There's only one thing that I know that applies kind of a dark damage like that, and that's a poison shot or the poison arrow. And I think that's a dark, it could be a separate element. I'm not sure, but from what I could decipher, it's part of the dark element because that's, you get venom sacks from dark pals. So it should be susceptible to dragon. And you can apply poison by using poison arrows. Um, I'm not sure if the actual poison attack from the pal does this, but nonetheless, if you can apply ground, then that means that grass would be susceptible to it. And if you could apply dragon as the debuff, then that means that it's susceptible to ice. Now, there's a couple of things that I had looked into as far as testing over the past quite a few hours, because I wanted to make sure that I was concrete in my findings and that I could bring you the evidence as far as I've found. With burning, it doesn't work. We'll show that here with Azarobi. So we're gonna go back to the Wampo. So with Azarobi, can be ridden to travel across water, applies water damage to players' attacks while mounted. So this should, in theory, work the same way. So while we're off, we're doing, you know, 30, 18, 19 right in the stomach jump on her we're doing a little bit more but if you catch him on fire which again this might take a few times see now he's on fire this doesn't apply though we're still hitting 40s and 50s on the back of Azarobi. So in theory, this should work, but it's it's not. I don't know why. And it's not the way that I'm implementing it because I've done various fire attacks from different pals to catch him on fire. I have used various methods to catch him on fire, and various methods of also delivering said water attacks, and they all do the same. They don't increase the damage at all. If we go back and look at the chart, if you freeze something, then it should be susceptible to fire damage. But this is all also something that does not work. Now we're back on Ragnarok and we put Icicle Cutter on him, which will eventually freeze the Botan. Like I said, we'll show our damage first. But she's going to be taking more damage because this is fire. We're doing like 65. But if we freeze him, which is also going to be, would be a double damage implemented, kind of like we did with Frost Stallion with the reverse, then this should work the same way. It should be doing double damage. So where we're hitting at 70, we should be hitting at like 120 whenever he's frozen. 70, no, it'd be 130, 140. See, got him frozen. Still hitting 71, 75. So this one isn't working as intended or how it would theoretically be supposed to be working. So now we got Verdash who is, who applies grass damage to your weapons. We look at the chart. If we apply ground, then that means that grass damage should be doing more with him and then use our gun, then it will be doing grass damage, which should then in turn be doing double damage. But this one does not work. Sandblast was the only one that I could really find that has what I would think to be something that implement some sort of ground CC, I guess, for lack of a better word, crowd control. Because the description says hurls sticky mud at the enemy. It doesn't say immobilize or anything like that, but you would think if that were, were the case that it would actually do something with that. So we're going to take Verdash here. We're actually going to eliminate his other two stuff here. So eventually you will see like almost like a dripping of mud that comes off of the See, you can see right there. It's only in the 30s though. So it does implement something. So you can even see he's still dripping mud. So that is something that is implemented, but it's still the same damage regardless. With him out. Still doing the 30s and even when he gets the mud on him we're still in the 30s now we have anubis anubis applies ground damage to your weapons we look at the chart then that means that we will have to electrocute the pal that we're going after in order to implement this we're going to use shot grenades and this is also something to demonstrate as well i'm going to put on his other skills that are also ground just to kind of show that these don't work so we're going to have him attack I i'm going to attack first with a little bit of the back at the bottom we got 28 29 27 so we'll have him attack see what kind of damage he does we did 128 with that 48 with that 
34, 43. So now I'm gonna send them back out. We're gonna electrocute them. Couldn't really tell on that, but he's, he's even still got the electric effect on him. So we should be doing more damage, but we're not. I know what you're thinking. It's because he is actually not weak to ground. He's actually strong against ground. So we'll test this on another pal. We'll throw Anubis out, out get his baseline attacks. There's 227 with that. 86 with that. That was 418 done to us. 91, 86, somewhere around there. So now, and I am currently doing, with him not out, 43, 44, I mean 34, 33, my dyslexia. So now we have him out. Still around about the same damage. So if we electrocute him, Anubis would attack. 196 he did his spinning back kick but yeah even if i go to electrocute him we're still doing in the 30s i should be doing more damage so this one is not implemented either so electrocution doesn't give the debuff like I, either it's supposed to or if it's not supposed to either way in theory of what it's supposed to be doing is not doing it so if we look at the chart again if we're able to apply dark damage which in this instance is going to be poison then dragon should in fact damage the opponent even more so as you can see on the back of chill it we're doing about 40 30 37 40 with no chill it about 10 percent lower so to apply dark we we'll hit him with an arrow and as you can see now he is got a tick away and now doing the same damage even if I were to do the dragon burst off of his back, then it still doesn't do anything different. We lost the chill it. So this isn't implemented because that's poison and he's clearly poisoned when I hit him with the poison arrow. As you can see, it start ticking away as such. So that's the only thing that I could think to be a dark damage implemented CC. And it doesn't work like that, unfortunately. And yes, I have tried implementing electricity with a pal and I have tried implementing dark with a pal with the poison shot. So if we go back, to the chart if we can apply a dragon damage type to a pal that we're going against then ice would inherently damage it more so we have frost stallion with us and i put draconic breath on her which would implement some sort of dragon style damage i personally haven't seen if or how this would work or something to that degree her skill as well is while riding on the back of her she does applies ice damage to the player's attacks Couple shots to the belly here, and we'll hit him with Draconic Breath. Still at that. I've tried to see if this is implemented at all, but it just doesn't seem like it is. There's a fire. Still in the 70s and 80s. If I'm not mistaken, I've pretty much covered every possible way that this could be implemented. And unfortunately, only two work. And that is fire to grass and electric to water. So if you get something wet, it will enhance the damage of it getting le electrocuted. And if you get something that is wrapped in vines, then it will be double damage if you use fire against it. So those are the only two out of all the possibilities that could possibly be going on at the moment. We didn't try to apply neutral damage because you get it and i've tried every implement 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 i've tried every way possible and tried to implement the actual cc from the element and then using every type of way to then distribute said opposite element of damage off screen and i was just demonstrating to you my findings over the past couple of hours of me going through this and trying to figure out what's going on and if it was something that i was doing wrong or something i tried it with pals i tried it with weapons i tried it with 
different types of powers that are attack powers and everything and none of them seem to implement right except for those two with the get them wet they get electrocuted put vines around them they burn and this was a video that i needed to do before i continued with my breedings just to make sure that this in fact was the case and what i wanted to do for future videos and everything but nonetheless if you like my content drop a sub you guys like this video drop a like if you guys would leave a comment down below feed the almighty algorithm and we'll see you guys on the next one keep your willy washed peace out